The markets are back. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Thursday, January 28th. Sorry I've been away so long. It's been a lot of a lot of technology issues. In the meantime, today's update is brought to you by the CTG Group. They are our preferred equity futures and commodities broker. They are the only ones authorized to do our letter of direction trading. And they have great customer service, and they'll help you out. If you need some information, just email me at bob at bobatrading.com, and I will send you their information. In the meantime, we do have other brokers just to give you a full disclosure. Now, the markets are exploding higher today after yesterday's beatdown. Uh, right now, the uh, the Dow is up 500. The, S and the Nasdaq is up 150. S&P is up 50. And the Russell is up about a, 179. You know, just a nice little rally. We're still long across the board. We survived yesterday's debacle. So, and again, we will not change until the trend changes. It's that simple. There's not much more to talk about that. Uh, gold and silver, uh, which are both short, were down and suddenly have reversed and have gone, you know, basically uh, straight up from those lows. Now, again, we're up against resistance again. I wrote this morning, I thought they were going to fail, and I do think that they're going to fail. But we'll see. Again, if, if we're wrong, I will simply change and, and move on. Okay, that's, you know, we'll reverse our directions, and that will be the story. Uh, the um, uh, uh, bonds and notes are lower, and, you know, they've been higher, higher, but they're still headed down, and we're still short bonds. We're going to reverse notes today. Uh, it be long, not notes, short bonds. Uh, we are still long dollars, which had a nice day yesterday, and, you know, a little bit of pressure today, but you would expect that. Um Crude oil is lower after being higher, has turned suddenly lower. And, you know, again, we are still long crude, but that's probably getting very close to reversing over. Uh, copper is uh, slightly lower. Okay. Actually, it is just turned slightly higher. Sorry. And uh, we are still long copper. Net gas is, uh, is, is lower. We are uh, obviously long net gas as well still. So, you know, in the meantime, we've got, you know, markets going all over the place. It's been lots of pressure, and we will see where they take us from here. Again, we will be continuing to follow the trend because that's all we're going to do. We're not going to get our emotional judgments involved in these markets. Then you take a look at the grain markets. And, you know, after being, you know, we're going heavily down uh, today, we've got uh, the corn is up a nickel. Soybeans are now down and wheat is now down. So they're kind of consolidating. Now we're short beans, long corn, and long wheat still. Uh, uh, we've actually reversed and reversed corn uh, this week. So we're back to being on the long side of corn. And you know, again, when you look at it, it it's just a very simple message to send you. Follow the trend. You'll be fine. It's got some concerns, but we're not going to do anything about it. We're going to wait until the trend change. And in, in cattle, Okay, you've got uh, uh, cattle is higher, feeders are higher, fats are lower, and they're both virtually unchanged, along with hogs. So pretty much across the board, they're all pretty much the same, you know, right near the flat line. And in the softs, uh, cotton is higher, we're long, OJ is short, we're is down, we're short. Coffee is long, we're, <laughs> I'll get it right eventually. See how much practice I need? Uh, coffee is uh, down, we're long. Uh, sugar is up, we're long, and cocoa is up, and we are short. So, you know, here we've got what we've got. And, you know, listen, the market is the market, and we will just follow the trends forever. And that's how we go about doing our business, because that's the best way to do business is to have a plan and be ready to go. In the meantime, don't forget about our friends over at Family Farms, our new partners, and uh, hopefully someday we'll get out of uh, Illinois and get out and get on the road. Uh, but uh, we both have the same goal, and that is to uh, bring farmers the best and help them, you know, take care of their businesses the way they should be and, you know, give them the best opportunities to protect themselves as well. And, of course, don't forget about other brokerage partner, which is a tradier for equities and options. And, you know, they've got numerous reasons, but the four I'd like to give you are $10 a month. Is The first is unbelievable. Okay. Uh, second, great customer service. Third, 
we've got their APIs and we are now totally automated. So if you should choose and you would like to automate the, our portfolios through your through Trader, you can. That's up to you. Again, there's no requirement. It's not part of the system. It's just part of the service. It's up to you. If you want it, it is part of it. But you don't have to have it. You can trade them without them. And of course, uh, they're offering free training, which obviously there'll be no training this Saturday, but following the next Saturday, February 6th, will be a resumption of the uh, of the, of session four of some more strategies. So, and you know, don't forget about our commodity report. Andy does a tremendous job with that, and it's just phenomenal the work he does. It's called Tech the Mental. You got to check it out. And don't forget about our high school program at Patreon, p a t r e o n dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. And of course, uh, still looking at our wounds from the last football games, but we will we will get over it and have our selections for the Super Bowl. In the meantime, coming to you from Las Vegas, this is Todd Bubba Horowitz. Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see you back here tomorrow with another update. Have a great day, everybody.